There'll be birth. There'll be death. There'll be romance in the treetops. There'll be wicked sex. There'll be predators. It's going to be better than an episode of Game of Thrones. So go out and enjoy the cicadas. Come on, Willie. There we go. That's the cicada wave. Hey, Willie, how you doing? This is just a spectacular event. I mean, there's nothing else like this on the entire planet Earth, even in the entire universe. This is the only place anywhere that we have 13 and 17 year cicadas emerging by the billions, if not trillions. They're going to interact with tens of millions of human beings. You don't have to go to Tanzania or Botswana for a safari. You can go right in your own backyard this year and go on a cicada safari. These cicadas are absolutely beautiful. Bright red eyes, a jet black body, and those beautiful orange wings. I think they're one of some of the most beautiful creatures on the planet. Why so many cicadas? Cicadas have one of the most bizarre strategies for survival of any creature on planet Earth. It's called predator satiation. They're going to emerge in such massive numbers synchronously. They'll fill the belly of every predator that wants to eat them and there'll still be enough left over to perpetuate their species. Boom. I see lots of cicada holes underneath this tree. I bet when we lift this tile, we're gonna find some cicadas. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, there they are. Hey teenagers, how you doing? What's life been underground like for the last 17 years? One misconception is they've been hibernating underground for 17 or 13 years. That's not the case. They simply have been developing very slowly underground for the last 17 years, growing from the size of a grain of rice to about this big, and it's gonna take 17 years to do this. Hey, look at this. Last night between dusk and sometime around midnight, these guys emerge from the shells. They're heading up for the treetops now for the safety of the trees. Right now, everything on the planet wants to eat a cicada, so once they get to the treetops, they're gonna be in relative safety. There are several misconceptions about periodical cicadas. One is that they're locusts. They're not locusts. Locusts are grasshoppers. Cicadas are much more closely related to aphids. There's another misconception that cicadas are harmful. Cicadas are not harmful. They don't bite. They don't sting. They're not going to harm you or your pets, so you don't have to fear the cicada. Now, I know some people will be afraid of cicadas, but hey, cicadas don't bite. Cicadas don't sting. Cicadas don't fly away with small dogs and children like the monkeys in the Wizard of Oz. Sometimes they will try to get in your mouth. Sometimes they might try to walk up your face. Sometimes it may be difficult to speak when you have cicadas hanging on your front lip. I don't recommend you let them go up your nose, but usually they'll just walk around the nose as they're visiting your face. And uh, frankly, Cicadas are, are just kind of interesting creatures that I think most people really don't have to be afraid of. 